Hello everyone! I hope you guys are having a great day today. So, um, I'm going to make a little sweet treat that I found at the store. And um, I love hostess things, you know what I'm saying? Little sweet hostess thing. So I found this. It's a ding dong hostess, but it's a fun and easy dessert kit. So it it um it's basically this, the ding dong in like a pudding whipped topping form. So um, it has ding dongs, instant pudding, cream filling mix, and chocolate flavored drizzle in the box. I found this at Walmart. I figured this would be like a little fun thing to do while we're kind of in quarantine. Now on the back, it does say ding dongs pudding no bake pie. So I guess if you visit hostessdessertrecipes.com, it will teach you how to make this. This, I guess this into this and it's a it's a pie. Maybe I'll buy another one and then you can try that. That'd be pretty cool, huh? Okay. So inside the box we have the ding dong instant pudding. So it's something we have to make. We have the cream filling mix. Again we have to make that. And luckily we don't have to make the chocolate flavored drizzle it's already made so um the directions for the ding dongs and some pudding is on this side and the one for the cream filling direction mix is on this side so we're gonna make the pudding first and then um we'll make the cream filling mix and put it together okay so i have a helper okay so now we're gonna pour three cups of cold whole milk into a medium bowl so we got the milk Boop, whole milk. We got the measuring cup. Boop. All right, get the pouring. There we go. Let's see if y'all can see. Can y'all see it poured? Get poured in there. Pour three, three cups. cups. She gonna pour all three cups. That's a lot of pudding. Like we about to be working it. Let me make sure I say three cups. Yep, three cups. Okay. Pour it in there. I did. Oh. Pour it in the bowl. <laughs> All right, then it says to add full pouch of pudding mix. So we're gonna open that and pour it inside. Yep. It smells good. There's milk. <laughs> it smells <laughs> chocolatey. <laughs> Don't get too close to it. Put it in there. All of it? Yes. Don't put the package in there. Get all them corners out. All right, so now it says to, with the, with the, I can't even say it, mix with electric mixer in a medium, on medium speed until mixture is thick. So we're going to do it. I know all about thickness. <laughs> all right, so here's my hand mixer. I got that going on. That's not the right one. Okay. Throw this on here. I'm gonna mix it over here because um, my cord is not that long. So, that's a little what I'm about. Um, slow. I'm gonna do it slow at first just to kind of get it going. It is instant pudding, so there we go. It's getting kind of thick. Okay, I'm going to, um, let me see the spatula. We're gonna get some of it off the sides and in the bowl. So it get a little thicker. Okay. Stick this in there. Okay. Here, hold it. Oh, 
Oh, it looks like... The thickness getting there. So, okay. So now it is actually pretty thick. And now it says to refrigerate for one hour. So, we're going to do that and see you guys in an hour. So, it has been an hour. And our pudding looks delicious. Look at that. Some good consistency. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Okay. So now it is time to make the whipped topping. We could probably have this for snack too. She wants the chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make the cream filling snack. I mean, mix. So we're going to put this to the side. Okay. Now, of course, this bowl is way bigger because uh, I, I just. I tried, I either have like small bowls or like gigantic bowls. Like, where are all the medium bowls at, guys? Who takes them all? Anyway, so this one is pour half a cup of cold whole milk in the medium bowl. So she's going to pour the milk in the bowl. Booyah. Okay. And then we're going to add the pouch of cream filling mix. Uh, it, it kind of smells like um vanilla, but like with like oh yeah, it smells like um cake mix. That's what it smells like. All right, so the next thing it says to do is to mix with the electric mixer at medium for two minutes to disperse the mix. Then mix with an electric mixer at a high speed for four minutes. So let's do the two minutes at medium and then we'll do the four um the four minutes on high here in a minute so okay i got my mixer right here oh okay um bang bang and we're gonna get to mixing this is supposed to be on medium so Mix and mix and mix and up. Mix and mix and you want to mix? Mix and up. So we're still mixing it. So this has been about two minutes. So now it says that we need to mix it on with the electric mixer on high speed. For four minutes. So here we go. We're gonna put it on high. It is very hot. And here we go. We mix it for four minutes. All right, it's still going. It's getting a little fluffier to make the whipped cream. Okay, guys. It has been four minutes. All right, shake it off. I'm gonna show you, yummy. This is what our whipped topping looks like. It looks pretty good actually. Like I had to turn my bowl to the side and kind of like put it like this because my bowl was so big that the, my hand, okay. My hand uh, mixer was not like mixing it really well and it was so, you know, it was so big. So when I put it to the side, it totally made whipped cream super excited so let's taste it y'all 
y'all, this is totally cool with. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's great. That's super good. Okay. I'm gonna leave those sitting right there because you know, you never know. I might wanna look them later. Okay. So put this over here. So now we're gonna make it. Okay, so we got two cups and some spoons. Cups and spoons. So we're gonna make it like in the picture. It says it's, it looks like pudding, whip topping, pudding, whip topping, and then the chocolate drizzle. Okay, so let's do pudding first. Pudding. We're gonna do pudding. Mix that up. Let me take my spoon out though. We are not gonna fill these up because that would be a lot. Okay. So there's my first layer of pudding. Looks delicious in my pretty cup. And then I'm going to do my uh, whipped topping here. It looks delicious, y'all. Like I am not, don't even want to share with the uh, you know people, but I guess I'm going to have to. <laughs> you have to use your own spoon. Here. Okay. So then I'm gonna have another layer of. Pudding. I guess that you can have as much pudding as you want, or as less pudding as you want, or a biggest cup as you want, because this one box made all this pudding and all this whipped topping and everything. So here's my second layer. It's actually looking like the picture. I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna switch again. No oh, spoon. Don't y'all hate when the spoon gets like in the in the mix? Uh oh. Then I'm gonna put my final layer of whip topping on that it smells and looks delicious. Okay, as everything falls in, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm going to drizzle the chocolate sauce on top, which is this right here. I gotta work it down a little bit, well, work it around actually. I got my scissors, so I'm gonna make a little slit right here. Got my little chop. Well, maybe. Here it comes. A little chocolate drizzle on top. I'm just gonna make a little bullseye circle there. All right. Okay, it won't stop. Here's your chocolate drizzle. Let's say the chocolate. Mm, delicious okay so here is my final product my little chocolate drizzle on top looks pretty nifty I'm, I'm pretty excited you got yours all done there you go yeah just put it right here okay what does yours look like here we go cheers okay we're gonna take a bite here we go. All the way to the bottom, get a little bit of everything. Y'all, this is good. Is it good? Mm, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think I would have a little bit more pudding next time. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh my gosh, guys. Yes, and yes, and yes. It's super fun to make with your kids. It also says you can make a cake on the back, which I'm gonna try to make a cake with another one, we'll see. And it's super good dessert. And yeah, like and share, guys. Let me know if you've tasted it and how it goes, okay? Stay safe and healthy.